we'll get started with class today um, with all the same tools as usual. We're going to go ahead and start out on the roller, uh, working on connecting. We've been working on scapula as the theme this week, so we're kind of connecting those back to the rest of the body. Always a good theme, if you ask me. We're going to go ahead and start laying down. And while you're there, ready to take your TheraBand with you, let's put it behind your shoulder blades. And down we go. So you can just cross that there then over your body and just leave it there for a moment. We'll take a couple breaths in here. And then exhale, just letting the body get heavy. And just see where you are, where your tight spots are, where your posture lines itself up. Great. And then you'll take another breath in. And exhale. And one more breath in. And exhale. Just checking in with all your areas of your body where you have your pressure points, what position is your pelvis in right now, where you have pressure at the back of your head or between your shoulder blades. Right. And then from here, we'll just go ahead and grab your band. We'll take your arms up to the sky with that band. And you can use enough tension on that band to feel like your shoulder blades are hugging the roller there. So the band's sort of pushing you back <laughs> down into the roller. You're going to exhale, reaching up, inhaling down, exhaling up, inhaling down, exhaling up, inhaling down, exhaling up, inhaling down, and exhaling up, inhaling down. Nice job. Here you're going to just take your right arm, reach it over your head, left arm stays where it is, and bring it back up, left arm back. And up, switching sides. And up, and reaching back. Keeping that root cage connected and your body still. Other side. And up, switching sides. Great, switching sides. One more time each side. There we go. Great, and then you'll just cross your band. So just switch hands there. You can keep them, the ends kind of looped up inside your hand, palms if you like. And we're gonna open out to the side, letting your arms open out, reaching far away, and then coming back up. Opening out. Shoulder blades on your back, palms turned up to the sky, bring it back. Open up and bring it back and open up. Great. And bring it back and open up and bring it back. Right. We're going to change the angle. The arms are going to come up a little higher. So hopefully, not to come on your body. And coming up, you can move that band around if you need to so you're not hurting yourself. And then coming up and reaching kind of diagonal upward and bring it back. Diagonal upward, bring it back and diagonal upward. Keep stretching the back of the neck there. Great, here I'm gonna have you reach one arm up to this guy. The other one's going to stay put. I'm going to let myself roll a little bit and turn and then switch. A little press reach and press reach. Press reach. Press reach. Press reach. And reach. Reach. And reach. Okay, and then we're going to push those on down by your sides, across the hips and back up. Exhale, press, inhale up. Exhale, press, inhale up. And exhale, press, inhale up. Exhale, press, inhale up. And exhale, press. Nice, inhale, bring it back. Great. Your arms are going to open out a little bit into a V. We're going to push both arms up and out, knuckles reaching kind of diagonally away from you, 
And then squeeze the shoulder blade back around that roller. Push it out and squeeze back. Push it out and squeeze it in. Press away and squeezing in. Press away and squeezing in. Push away and squeeze in and push away. Squeeze in, press away. Squeeze in one more time, press away and squeeze in. And then you can relax. The arms down for a moment. Let's just take them out to the side. We'll give a nice big chest stretch open to find the place where you feel the most stretch without the band. Right. Exhaling, the ribs are going to come towards each other. Then you're going to just swing those arms down and around. So sliding down, coming up and over, and flipping around. Ribcage pulls down, circling, and opening around. Great. Opening and around. And one more time. Up and over. Opening around. Great. Nice job. Okay, let's go ahead and take the band. You're going to bring it out from underneath your back. And then you're going to bring one foot to tabletop. And if you can, wrap that band around the foot. That would be great. If that feels too much, you don't have to do that. I'm going to put it around my foot and then I'm going to cross the band and bring my palms towards each other while I hold on to the band. If you don't like holding so much, you could wrap it around your hands all the time. Here, you're going to have to hold steady. If it's too much to do it on uh, with both arms up, you can put one arm down. Even with the band on it, you can bring it down to the floor. We're going to exhale, hold those arms straight, send the leg out, and bring it back. Now, your shoulder blades need to sit on the roller next to you, holding their position as that leg goes out and in. Exhale, press. Inhale. Exhale, press. Inhale to bend. Exhale, press. Inhale to bend. And exhale, press. Inhale to bend. And exhale, press. Inhale to bend. Exhale, press that leg. We're going to go up with the leg and down. Up. Hold the shoulders steady and down. Park them on the um, roller next to you. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. And up and down. Great. And then you're going to go up. Hold there. The leg's going to stay up. Your arms are going to go back. And up, reaching back. Bring them up. And what's nice about having the roller there is you can really feel the shoulder blades stay on that roller as you reach those arms back. Really working hard not to arch your back. Keep those ribs down. And out. Great. And if you can, we can add both together. We're going to add the leg dropping and the arms reach. And come back nice and steady. And reach. And up, and reach, stretch, and up, and stretch, and up, stretch, nice and steady, last one, stretch, and up, great. We're going to take that band off your foot, we'll switch feet, all without falling off the roller, hopefully, right? So I'm going to make that switch here. You can cross over the band around your foot. And then situate yourself with your arms up. Great. We're going to start with just that leg, pressing out and bending in. The shoulder blades are hugging the floor. Pressing out and bending in. Out and bending in. Out. And bending in, out, and bending in. Press it out, and in. Nice hold. The leg 
the leg. We're going to reach it straight up to the sky. Straight leg now. It's going to go down and back up. Down and up. Really stretch it long out of the socket. Shoulders are holding their ground. And up, down, and up. Reach down, and up, and down. Up, one more time, down, and up. Nice, holding there, you're gonna just take the arms overhead and bring them back. Arms back, back of the neck is long, and bring it back. Reach, and up. Reach and up, reach and up. One more, just like this. And then if you can, you'll add the leg down and reach. Nice and controlled. You can go at your own pace. Really want to hold steady here. Down, back of the neck stretches and up, down and up. Down and up, down, reaching long and up, down and up and down and all the way up. Nice job. You can go ahead and remove the band from your foot and bring your feet down. We'll put the band down beside you. We're going to take our hands behind your neck here. Supporting the back of that neck. Great. Elbows nice and wide. So I can keep the elbows nice and wide. I don't want to crunch inward. When I imagine that something's pulling those elbows even wider than they are from the tips of the elbow points. Feet and knees, you have a choice. They can stay apart or you can bring them together if you want a little more challenge. You're going to exhale, lengthen the back of the neck, rib cage drops, and you're going to work your way up and release back down. Exhale up, inhale back down. Exhaling up, inhale back down. Exhale, reaching long and back down. Tailbone stays fixed. You're going to really stretch the back of that neck, connect the ribs, and back down. Right? And if rolling that head up isn't great for you, just come into that head float. And reverse, stretching always long, resting the head and neck in your hands. So in whichever case, it's just coming for the ride. And down. And stretch. Elbows super wide. And down. Great. We're going to take one hand out from behind your neck. Exhaling, come into the diagonal. And then back down. Exhale, reach. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, reach, inhale, reverse, and up, and down, up, and down, nice job, up, and down, and up, and down, we're switching sides, elbows still going to reach long and wide, we're going to exhale, coming up, inhaling down, exhale up, Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale reverse. Exhale up. Inhale reverse. Exhale up. Inhale reverse. And up. Inhale reverse. Going up. Inhale down. And up. And inhaling down. Nice job. Go to the relax there. You're going to. Come off the roller and we'll put it behind the shoulder blades here for one. So, here, just bringing it behind the shoulder blades, hands are going to again support the neck, elbows are really wide, feet and knees together if you can. You're going to just, without lifting your hips, you're going to open that chest up. So, keep the hips down and see if you can get a nice stretch back. My hands are going to support and lengthen my neck. So don't feel pressure and my head's going to feel like it's really hugged and held in position. And then you're going to exhale, coming into that neutral or a little bit further if you get ribs pulling inward. We're going to open back. Big inhale. And coming along. Forward. 
Inhaling. And exhale, reach. Inhaling. And exhale, reach, lengthening, coming upward. Inhaling. Great, exhaling, reaching up. And inhaling, opening up. And exhaling, lengthening. Great, holding there with your hands behind your neck. I'm gonna now lift my hips up. I'm going to keep trying to get my body in a flat position. So my bottom and my shoulders are on the same level, at the same level. And from here, I'm just going to bend my knees and push my knees without really changing much. My chest can come up into a little bit of a curl, but it's mostly just staying flat as I bend those knees and I press. And I come in. You can decide how far up to go. Going down, right? You really want to be careful that you're not going too low. This is about the thoracic spine, that upper spine, more than anything else. Coming back and forth here, holding steady. Now we can add a little more motion. I'm going to lower the hips a little bit so they're just hovering over the floor, curling up as I press now into sort of an upper ab curl. And then I'm going to increase that open on the way down, trying not to lift the hips very much. So I get the most bending. I'm trying to bend that upper back in both directions, first into a flexion and then into an open extension. Curling, keeping those hips low to the ground and opening. Great. And curling and opening and curling. And opening, you're gonna hold that open, sit your hips down, and then just let yourself arch over. You can decide exactly where to place yourself based on what you feel. Great. Big breath in, and exhale. One more breath in, and then exhale. Big length in the neck, you're gonna bring yourself up. We're gonna take that roller and place it under our hips instead. So I'll bring it down under my legs, bridge my way up. We're just going to diverge a moment to get those hips in the right place. Well, then we'll talk about the shoulder blades again and that upper back. You're going to exhale. Belly is going to drop in. I want to make sure my knees stay parallel here and hollow that belly into my coccyx curl, just trying to lengthen the tops of those legs. Inhale back to neutral and exhale, hollowing. Inhale back to neutral. Exhale, belly sinks. I'm going to reach the tail along, hollowing. And really trying to open up those thighs. Inhale, release. And again, exhaling, coming to that curl position. But hold that belly down position, and you can give yourself a big bear hug. Pull those shoulder blades out from underneath you. And then we're going to place our arms, take them, cross them over, and just sit them on the floor next to us. So they're going to create a base here next to me um, as if I'm kind of creating a frame around my body and my shoulder blades are the hips of my shoulder of my upper body. So I'm gonna sit those hips down, bring these, my legs up, the other hips and legs up in the air, keeping that nice uh, seated open position. If this position bothers you, you're also welcome to open the arms, but you wanna make sure that you've got a seat and you're not tensing in that upper body. Stomach's gonna pull in, one foot's going to tap down and reverse, switching sides. Great, switching sides, everything else stays steady. I'm locking in to my body's position. It's holding me nice and steady. My back's not arching. That's it. That's it. Nice job. Great. And then hold. We're going to go ahead. If you can grab your band, I should have warned you to have it nearby. And you're going to place it over your legs. So I'm going to take it over my feet and then cross it underneath them. And hold on to the band with my hands once again. Great. My arms here, shoulders are going to wrap back and down. My arms are reaching towards my hips. They're going to stay there. I'm going to exhale. Send my legs up and out. 
and bend them in again. So keep those shoulders wrapped open. Exhale and press. Inhale, bend back in. Exhale and press. Inhale, back in. Exhale and press. Inhale, back in. Exhale and press. Inhale, back in. And exhale, press. Inhale in. One more time. Exhale and press. Inhale, hold tabletop here. I want you to find a tabletop that's a little further out that you can still maintain a good neutral position. And you're going to press the arms down and release. Press and release. Press and release. Press down and release. Good. Press down and release. Press and release. Shoulder blades are wrapped on the floor around, back and down. Press and press and press and press. Good. Keep that press now as you try and extend the legs again. Ooh, that's a lot of work. And then back in. Keep those shoulders wrapped open. Press and bend back in. Good job. And exhale, press. Shoulders wide on that floor. Inhale back. Exhale, press. You can explore where you want to place those legs, taking them lower each time if you want. A little more challenge. You decide what's the right challenge for you. And bring it back. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. And exhaling. Holding there, your legs are going to go up and swing down. My shoulders are still holding their position up and swing down. Up and swing down. Nice job. Up and swing down. Up and down. And up and down. Nice job. You can bend those knees if you need to adjust that roller. Like me, you're welcome to at any time. You're going to hold that tabletop. We're going to make circles with our arms. So they're going to come up, open, and down by your sides. Coming up. Right. Shoulders are always in their sockets. And I'm going to make these nice arm circles with that in mind that I'm going to just circle through the motion. It should not be painful anywhere. You don't have to open too close to the floor. We a little inefficient down there, so you're going to keep the eyes in sort of your peripheral vision, just covering over the floor when they open. Circle around, up and around. Back of the next phase, long, not tense, and then we'll reverse, opening out to the side, coming over the head and back up. Open out, circle and up. Open out. Circle and up, open out, circle up and open out, circle and up. Nice job. Let's go ahead and release that band. Uh, we're going to take it off your legs. We'll do one more exercise here with your legs and then we'll move away from the roller. You're going to drop one leg down to the floor. You're going to hold that position where the hip is really opening. So I'm going to curl that tail. Keep the other leg straight, uh, straight up to the sky, and it's going to lower down and lift up. Good. Lower down and lift up. Holding really steady. Arms can relax right now. You're still across your shoulder blade. So that pressure is across your shoulder blade, not on your neck. Good. Down and up and down. Hold it at the top. You're going to slide your other leg out straight if you can, and we're going to circle the leg around, holding that pelvis on the roller, coming across your body, and opening out to the side. Keep that leg really nice and straight, and circling around. Up and over, and around, up and over, and around. We're going to reverse the direction, going out to the side. Come across, down around, opening out, across, and opening, and across, and opening, 
and across. Great. And then you'll bring it up. We're going to switch side. So bringing the other foot down to the ground, the one that was just down is going to come straight up to the sky. Stabilize your pelvis, stabilize with the shoulder blades, and here we go, around, I'm sorry, up and down. Great. Down and up. Down, reaching up, down, and up, down, and up, down, and up, and down, and up. And then you're going to circle the leg, uh, sorry, lower the bottom leg, keep jumping ahead here, and then circle that leg around. So circling, coming across your body, opening out. So try and keep that upper body relaxed as you move through this motion here. Good. And then we're going to reverse directions, coming back the other way. And holding steady, holding that nice position across those shoulder blades. Okay, stretching long through your leg. Pelvis stays. Nice and strong and supporting on that roller. Great. And then here, you can bring both legs up to the sky. We're going to push that roller out from underneath us and rest your feet on it instead. Great. So here, we'll do one last exercise on our backs. You're going to exhale. Roll it right up into your bridge here. Great. Take your arms up to the sky and set your shoulder blades on the floor next to you. You're going to let your arms travel overhead and come back up. Overhead. As they reach overhead, the back of the neck should, uh, chin should tuck back of the neck stretches. Overhead and back up. Reaching overhead. Bring them up to the sky. Those hips are staying. Body staying strong. Hollow belly and up to the sky and back. And up to the sky. Okay, you're going to let the roller roll a little bit away and pull back. And pull back. Arms are still straight up to the sky. They're sitting on the floor next to you, those shoulder blades. And pulling in and in, in and in, and in and in. And in. Nice job. Hold there, rolling down through your spine. Okay, let's switch directions. I'm going to have you come up. To hands and knees here. And you want to take that there again with you. We're going to place it across the shoulder blades one more time here. So taking it, I'm going to go under my arms. And then I'm going to come onto my all fours. Collecting it underneath me. So a nice long neck. You're gonna let your shoulder blades go down and push away. Going down and press. Down and press. Down and press. Down and push. Nice strong presses. Down and push. Down and push. Down and push. And down and push away. Great. Holding there, you're going to bring one hand up off the floor, bring it to your chest, and you're going to go down and push that floor away. Down and push. 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 Good job. One more. And push away. Great. We're going to switch sides. Picking up the other arm, it comes towards your chest. Here we go. Down and push away. The back of the neck gets really nice and long. Down and press. So there's no tension going there. The work is all in that upper back, shoulder, a little in the arms. Down and push. Down. Push. Down and push. Down. Push. Down. Push. 
one more. Down and push. Great. And then both hands back on the floor. Okay, so I'm going to challenge you to keep pressing up into that band no matter what we do here. So my head's going to stay long. I'm looking kind of at the same level as my thumbs, right in the middle of my thumbs, pushing the floor away, but my spine isn't pushing up to the sky, right? I'm holding that position. I'm going to slide one foot out, keep everything else steady, and bring it back in. Switch sides carefully. So you're not rocking side to side. I'm going to hold my body as steady as possible and bring that leg back in. Shoulders are still pushing that floor away. My neck is still long. Switch and in. Switch and in. Keep steady weight. Just stay even on both arms. Stomach like stays tight to give you that support that you need. Great. Out and in. Out. In, out, in, and out, and in. Great. Holding there, pushing away. Back of the neck is long. You're going to send your right foot out. Hold there. See if you can send your left foot out also and match. Hold there. You're in your plank, pushing the floor away. You're going to bring the right leg in, bring the left leg in. Nice job. Here we go. Left leg goes out. Stabilize those shoulders. Right leg goes out. Hold. Left leg in, right leg in. We go back to the right side. Right leg out, hold those shoulders steady. Left leg out, hold. Great. Right leg in, left leg in. We're switching sides. Last one here. Push the shoulder blades. Left leg goes out. Right leg goes out, hold. Left leg in, and right leg in. Nicely done. Okay. So here, let's try taking the leg all the way out, holding there, toes tucked under, find your stability, find the middle, and then pull the leg up. Keep the body square, steady. Toes are gonna touch down and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then you'll come back in. Other side, stretch the leg out. Find your position, leg floats up, hold steady. Down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice job. Here, I'm gonna have you cross that band. You're gonna stay under your hands one more time, cross them. I'm gonna hold on to the ends of it, stretch my right leg out. Float the leg up. I'm going to stretch my left arm up and out. The arm and the leg are going down and up, holding everything steady. Stomach's lifting. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, and up. Great. Slide that hand and leg back in. We're going to switch sides. Slide the leg out first. And float it up. Find your foot stability. Other arm, opposite arm reaches up, and here we go. Down, up, 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 and down, up. Nice job, and bring it back in. Great, you can go ahead and toss that band aside. We are done with it for today. You're going to bring your roller in and play in front of you here. And we're going to just start working to open up those shoulders. So here, we're going to go on all fours. Again, take a breath in. I'm going to take, uh, let my arms slide away. I'm trying not to go too far backwards. I'm going to go forward with that roller and find a position where I can tolerate the stretch. It shouldn't hurt. It should just be like a nice open stretch. Chest is going to start to drop into the floor. Shoulder blades will wrap onto your back. Big breath in, and then exhale. Great. Another breath in, and exhale. Great, letting that chest drop into the floor. And another breath in, and exhale. Great, really trying to open up through those shoulder blades. We're going to move into cat. I want you to think about tucking your tail right where it is. Don't shift backwards. Just come up with your belly, rounding your back to the sky. Keep coming up. It's a lot of work if you don't rock backwards. 
right to your fingertips. And we're gonna go down one more time. So really balance on the tips of my knee, hollow, tuck that chin and roll my way forward, nice and controlled, letting the arms go. Then I can relax into that stretch one more time, allowing the tail out the back. Great. Exhaling, and here we go up straight up to the side of my body, hollow that belly, balance on those knees, come up to your fingertips. And we're going to roll it all the way back down. Great. At the end, the tail can wander out the back. That's fine. Chest dropping. Big breath in, and I'm going to have you just slide your arms to the floor, your elbows to the floor, and we're going to lower ourselves all the way down onto our knees. And then you want to lay down with your forehead covering or resting on the floor. That's whatever feels better to you is fine. The ruler is going to be just above my wrist on my forearm. I'm going to let my shoulders and fingertips reach and roll that roller as far away from me as possible. And then I'm going to shrug the shoulder blades down, pulling it towards me. And if your head floats a little bit more as you come in, that's fine. I don't want you arching your back yet, though. And then you're going to reach away again. Big inhale. And exhale, slide those shoulder blades down your back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, shrug. Inhale, reach. Exhale, shrug. Long neck. Inhale, reach. Exhale, shrug. And inhale, reach. Exhale, shrug. Great. Inhale, reach. If your head's floating, maybe just tilt it and rest your forehead on the floor. You're going to. Bend your elbows, drive them up towards the sky with the base of your hand on the roller, and the roller rolling to your head. And then you're going to reach away. Big inhale. And exhale. Pull in that lower right elbows up to the sky. And then reaching long. And bend and elbows up high. Reach it along. Bending, pulling that ball to your head. Reach it long one more time. Bend and pull. Good. Reach it long. Great. Keep the arms out there. We're going to come up into swan now. So you're going to exhale, shrug the shoulder blades down. First thing, head should start to float. I'm going to keep pulling those shoulder blades onto my back and let my chest open up towards the sky. Big, stay down, shoulder blades on my back. And then I'm going to inhale, reach away. Exhale, shrug down, covering up. Inhale, reaching away. Exhale, shrugging down. Inhale, reach away. And exhale, shrugging. Inhale, stretching away. Great. Here you're going to go ahead and see if you can connect your ribs to your hips by doing, and then my shoulder blade also. So what's going to happen if I do that is I'm going to end up coming up and then back down. It takes a little more effort. You want to really work from your tummy, lift up to your thighs and back down. Try really hard not to just arch your lower back, right? I'm going to tuck in those ribs, pull my belly up towards my spine to make it happen. Two more. Shrug up and back down. Good, one more. Shrug and up and slowly back down. Nice job. You can dig the elbows in, come back onto your knees for a moment, and just one more stretch forward, hollow rounding, whatever feels good to you. Okay, kind of a child's pose position with those arms over the roller would be fine. Whatever feels right to you at this moment. And then you're going to roll your way back onto your heels. And we'll move the roller aside. Great. So here I'm going to have you come back onto all fours, but this time your hands a little elongated in front of you. We're going to coccyx scroll our way forward into our plank. So lifting up that belly, tail curls under, roll forward into that plank, unroll the head and neck, shoulders are down your back. And then I'm going to reverse that motion by tucking my chin looking towards my belly and taking myself all the way back towards the child pose position here. Big inhale, and I'm gonna start again, lifting up the belly, driving it towards the sky, and then tucking my tail and coming forward onto those arms, into my plank here, 
and reversing, tucking my chin, falling all the way back. Great. If this is enough for you, you can stay with this. If you want more, you can tuck those toes underneath, lift your hips to the sky into our elephant position. Heels, you're rolling down towards the floor. Take a nice breath in here, really stretching back into those heels. You're going to lift up on those toes, coccyx curl forward, and finding your plank. Nice, strong, strong plank. Everything is connected. I'm going to reverse the motion. Belly lifts, chin tucks. Hollow lifting up, sink the heels down the back. Big inhale, you're gonna exhale, lifting up, curling forward, coming into that strong plank. Very well supported, strong plank here. And reversing, lifting up, heels dropping down. One more time, here we go. Top six curling, forward. Find that nice plank, we're gonna hold here for a moment. If you want your push-ups, you're welcome to have them here. You can go to your knees as well. And we're going down and up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. Good. And then you're going to press that the hips right back up to the sky, lowering those heels, holding here for whatever stretch you need, whether it's calf stretch or bending your knees and opening the shoulders more. And then we're gonna walk our way back onto our leg. Spine comes into its neutral position, pressing up those thighs, big inhale, reaching up to the sky, and then lowering down. All right, nice job. I hope you feel very connected in your shoulder blades. And I look forward to seeing you later.